friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am here with my Aunt Laura, and we are going to do an interview with her. So this is going to be kind of like when I interviewed my dad about being an entrepreneur. Today we're talking about my aunt and her not-for-profit organization called Kindness Matters. So I just want to explain what Kindness Matters is. Yeah, short version is Kindness Matters is a non-for-profit organization committed to global kindness and we are inspiring and educating our children about the many different ways to give back to our community, feel good about it, and show kindness. Awesome. So today's video is also going to be written up as an article for her campus at UCF, so I will make sure as soon as that goes live to put the link in the video description if you want to see how I write it up as well. My first question is, how did Kindness Matters go from an idea to actually becoming a thing? Like, you, at one point you were like, oh, this would be cool, and then how did it become real? Oh, that's a great question. Thank you. So, initially, really, why I wanted to start this kindness movement was because my children were young, and I wanted them growing up in an environment where other kids were nice and kind-minded. So I went to our local elementary school mm -hmm. and I talked to them about the possibility of creating a free after school program where I talked to children about being grateful for who they are, being compassionate and mindful about how they speak and how mm -hmm. they act and how it affects themselves and others, and showing kindness. Mm -hmm. And my the principal of the elementary school thought it was a great idea. Mm -hmm. So we had our very first kindness program in 2008. Oh wow. 35 children. And I really just talked about being grateful for who you are, mm -hmm. compassion and mindfulness about how you act and speak to others mm -hmm. and how it affects you and other people, and showing kindness. And it took off from there. That's awesome. Yes. Okay, so my next question is, what has been the proudest moment you've had so far in, regar in regards to Kindness Matters? Oh, wow. Just one? There's I, so many. You can talk about a few if you'd like. Whatever you want. You know, the proud moments are really watching the children mm -hmm. understand yeah. that they are valuable, mm -hmm. that they are important. Um, watching children understand that they can do anything they want in this world. Mm -hmm. Watching children understand that they have, every single day is an opportunity to be grateful for who they are. Yeah. Every single day is an opportunity to give back however they feel how they want to give back. Mm -hmm. And to watch them change and evolve and inspire their friends and their classmates yeah. and, their, and their family members and their brothers and sisters. Pride for me, I'm so proud about watching people's transformation. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is it. I'm most proud when I get to see people being the best versions of themselves. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard for people to understand that they are amazing just the way they are. Where do you see Kindness Matters in five years, in 10? So right now, mm -hmm. Kindness Matters, our programs are spreading across the, the country. Mm -hmm. We are, our programs are in preschool, elementary school, middle school, high school, mm -hmm. and college. I feel like in five years, 10 years, 50 years from now, yeah. it's really staying consistent with our messaging, mm -hmm. empowering and educating our future yeah. to understand that we all just need to be kind to each other. Mm -hmm. Every day is an opportunity to be grateful. Every day yeah. is an opportunity to choose kindness and to show kindness. So from this moment, for the next 100 or 200 years, mm -hmm. all I want is for children and people to understand the value that we are here for being the best version of ourselves that we can be yeah. and being nice to each other. So you have these two really strong sides to yourself, this rockin', badass, feminist, like, 
traveling, chasing, um, oh, who was it, Grateful Dead across the country. Yes. But also kindness and compassion and gratitude. Yes. And how do you kind of reconcile those two parts to like come together? Oh, that's such a great question. I love your questions. Thank you. Well, so the, the Grateful Dead hit mm -hmm. me in me. I've watched the Grateful Dead go from these, you know, a couple of guys mm -hmm. hanging out, playing, playing in the band. Yeah and blossom into this entire movement mm -hmm. of music and entertainment and community and family yeah. and the deadhead in me and the lover of human being and kindness in me mm -hmm. wants the same thing. I yeah. want to spread, just like the, the, the deadhead in me, yeah. the Grateful Dead spreads music and community and love, mm -hmm. I really want all of us who are alive today and in our future yeah. to understand the importance of music and dance and community and supporting each other and lifting each other up yeah. and when when one person connects with another person mm -hmm. connects with another person and we create community mm -hmm. we can do more so if so. you're kind yeah and I'm kind and we work together we spread even more kindness yeah. I'm not sure if I answered your question just you know but you you but kind of did because it was it's not that there's one side or another it's that one feeds another and they work together how is kindness matters inspired personal growth in your own life I think it all really goes back to watching human beings evolve mm -hmm. and and um, there's something really beautiful that happens. So I have an expression that goes like this. Mm -hmm. The universe gives us many, many, many gifts. The mm -hmm. universe gives us miracles in all of our adventures. Mm -hmm. Some of the gifts that the universe gives us are in not wrapped beautifully. Yeah. So in other words, let me just explain that. Some gifts that you get, they're wrapped beautifully, and you're mm -hmm. so excited to open them, and yeah. miracles come out. Mm -hmm. Some gifts that you get, they're wrapped in ugly wrapping, and you don't understand it, and you're opening Why, did, why was I given this? Right. But the miracle's always there. The gift mm -hmm. is always there. What's inside of the box is the gift. Yeah. So in life, I feel that we are here for a very short time yeah. to journey, to experience, to transform. The gifts aren't always... The, 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 the journey isn't always easy, mm -hmm. but the end result, there's transformation, there's yeah. growth, there's education, there's evolution. Mm -hmm. I do believe that we are here for a very short time on this planet as yeah. human beings, so that every opportunity that we have to give back is a gift to the world. What impact have you seen Kindness Matters create in your community? Oh, I love that question. <laughs> I love that question. So I've already seen in mm -hmm. our own community the transformation of children and adults. Mm -hmm. I see this ripple effect of kindness all over yeah. the community. Because I'm here and I see it, that's fantastic, but I'm also seeing it across the, across the country. Yeah? So we have that's many awesome. ambassadors and we have kindness programs in 12 states mm -hmm. and we are, we are close with and communicate with all of our ambassadors. So yeah. we're seeing the ripple effect and the benefit wow. of kindness programming in all of those different states. Yeah. And what's really beautiful is that, you know, I have a lot of stories about children who come into our programs mm -hmm. and watching them transform through the programs. Yeah. So our programs primarily are an after school club mm -hmm. and the ambassador, the person who goes through the training to become an ambassador, mm -hmm. invites different foundations and organizations to come talk to the kids about what yeah. they do to make the world a better place. But some of these kids have no idea. Yeah. They don't realize that there is suffering in the world. Yeah. They don't realize that there are children who are hungry or who need books or yeah. don't have homes. And sometimes you know it but you can't grasp it until you see somebody talk and show this is what I do every day. This is what I'm experiencing. This is what I'm trying to help stop. And then once they see that they can be like, oh, yes, I can help with that. I can yes. make the world better. Yes. That's awesome. The other component to mm -hmm. our programs are that we give the children who are in our programs an opportunity to give back to the different foundations who come yeah. to speak. So it's not just the children listening to the different foundations who are giving back, but the kids get to do service projects for yeah. the foundations and feel good about mm -hmm. giving back. There's something really magical about the sensations that you get mm -hmm. from giving back. Who is the most ins Who has been the most inspiring person you've met thanks to Kindness Matters? Who has been the most inspiring person? Mm -hmm. I mean, 
I can't answer that with one person. You can tell me as many as you like. Who are who are the most impactful that you that stick to your memory? I guess is better. I, it has to be. It has to be. There's there's no. I can't give you a name. Okay. But there are a myriad of foundations in mm -hmm. our community that are doing their part to give back. Yeah. So from Forgotten Soldiers to Best Foot Forward to mm -hmm. Kids Safe to there's so many different foundations yeah. for giving back. I love them. And then the children. Mm -hmm. So if we are if we are in a hundred programs mm -hmm. and there are X amount of children in a hundred those children are the ones that really inspire me because they're doing their part to give back. The ambassadors. Yeah. What would you like your legacy, both personally and through Kindness Matters, to create for future generations of women? I see a better world. Yeah. I know that the difficulties that we that we are faced with now, mm -hmm. whether it be political stuff, natural disasters, a myriad. Mm -hmm. the, the the recent rise in school shootings, yeah. suicide, anti-Semitism, it threatens all of us. Absolutely. All of us. And even though it's a very difficult time for me, for you, mm -hmm. for all of us, I do believe that people's hearts and minds are opening to a different world. Yeah. And so there's a lot more mindfulness about being mm -hmm. respectful, being kind, giving back, all of that. Yeah. And I'm hopeful that you will be raising your children in a better world. Mm -hmm. And the, the Kindness Matters 365 Foundation, we are committed, mm -hmm. committed to making sure that you get it, that yeah. your children get it, and that there is a better time. A generational change. A generational change, that's it. Awesome. I'm committed to a new generation of kind-minded people. Since you started Kindness Matters, have your ideas and views about the world and the people in it changed? Do you find yourself more understanding to, towards those who are unkind or more impatient now? I have a lot of co patience, compassion, mm -hmm. and empathy for human beings. Yeah. I do believe that we are doing the best that we can. Mm -hmm. Some people have the tools and some people don't. Yeah. There is an entire conversation that Kindness Matters is providing for our ambassadors and our programs called self-awareness and self-regulation. Mm -hmm. And we're really trying to educate people about being aware of the red flags, yeah. being aware of the triggers, mm -hmm. and giving them the tools that they need to create powerful relationships, mm -hmm. communicate effectively, um, be healthy and happy and confident. Yeah. So there's, you know, life is filled with good days and bad days. Life is filled with wonderful experience and tragedy. Yeah. And we as human beings have to experience the good and the bad, but we as a Kindness Matters 365 Foundation is, are committed to educating our children about the triggers yeah. and the tools to navigate through them. What is the top message you would like for people to hear? What's the what message? The top message the you'd like people message. to hear. The top message. That every day is a miracle and that every day is an opportunity to be kind to yourselves and to others. You know, talking about all that, is there one specific story that kind of just really is so important and that stuck out to you and like how did it make you feel, you know, remembering all that? Oh, there's so many wonderful stories. The one that I will choose to share with you now is about Jake. One year, this is one year I was leading our Kindness Matters program mm -hmm. and Jake walked in. And now Jake is for lack of better words, he's the bully of the school. Mm -hmm. And so he, when he walked in, I was thinking, oh, Kindness Matters program. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? I mean, really, he's the one, he's the troublemaker, and he yeah. walks in. And I thought, all right, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Mm -hmm. So the first couple of meetings were definitely challenging with Jake. He yeah. was disrespectful. He was attention-seeking. He did not listen. He, mm -hmm. all of those things that you'd expect happened. Yeah. And time and time again meeting after meeting I was patient with him mm -hmm. and I talked to him about being respectful about listening mm -hmm. about the, the, the my commitment to him getting value out of these speakers for him mm -hmm. to understand his value and the importance of giving back and all that so four meetings five meetings six meetings it was challenging so then I find myself in the middle of the year and we had two different speakers and the one the first speaker came in and Jake all of the kids are sitting on the floor and we're listening to the speaker and Jake was out of control. Mm -hmm. And I invited Jake to the back of the room and I said, this is where you're going to be right now and I know you have it in you. You've been here for six months with us. I know you know what it means to be 
kind and patient and respectful. So let's hang out here in the back, and when we go to the next speaker, I'll check in with you and see if you're ready. Mm -hmm. And he was in the back of the room listening, and he was quiet, and he was respectful, so I invited him to join us for the second speaker. Mm -hmm. And the second speaker was a wonderful woman named Miss Chiera, and she was talking about uh, Camp Boggy Creek which is a summer camp for children who are sick mm -hmm. that would not otherwise be able to go to camp. And this Camp Boggy Creek gives the children doctors, medication, time, oh, wow. everything that they need yeah. to enjoy camp where they wouldn't otherwise. And they'd be safe. And they would be safe, and yeah. they love it. So as Ms. Shiera is talking all about Camp Boggy Creek, mm -hmm. Jake raises his hand. Wow. And I'm thinking, I just got shivers. <laughs> I know. And I was thinking, oh, no. You yeah. know, I was worried yeah. that he was going to say something or do something that was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Chiara called on him and said, do you have a question? He said, yes. Is there any more availability at Camp Boggy Creek? Wow. And she said, no, there isn't. We have, we're, we're booked every year. And she went on to explain why there's no more room. And she said, but why? And he said, well, my sister has cancer. Oh. And that was it. The, 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 the ambassadors were crying. I was hysterical. The yeah. teachers, the students. They, because nobody really understood the Why? struggle yeah. that this child is going through, that his sister has cancer. Can you imagine his world? Yeah. Can you imagine his world? So that was the beginning of Jake's transformation. Yeah. That was the beginning of him speaking his truth, mm -hmm. telling people how he was feeling and what he needs, yeah. and people listening and understanding. Mm -hmm. And so fast forward to, Jake got the help that he needed, yeah. the attention, the support, the therapy, mm -hmm. and his sister did go to Camp Bayou Creek. Oh, wow. And they're all doing well today. That's awesome. But the, the message really is is that nobody knows yeah. what another human being is going through. Yeah, it's kindness without explanation. I like that. Kindness without explanation. Ooh, bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> just kindness without it. You don't need an explanation. Yeah, nobody just owes nice. you the explanation. It's just be kind to them because they're a human being. You don't need to know why they're, they need the kindness. They just do. And we're all going through our own struggles. Yeah. And we're all going through our own journey. And let's just do it, work on it together. Yeah. The Kindness Matters 365 Foundation is for everyone. All are welcome. If you're interested in becoming a Kindness Matters 365 Ambassador, the Kindness Matters training is online. KindnessMatters365.org. Visit our website, check us out, become an ambassador, and bring the kindness movement to your community now.